using a lot of vehicles. Well, we here. stumbled onto the den of Allison's. <laughs> oh, board, I see it. Back up, Ian, Ian, please back up. Back up before we go in there. It's there, I see it. So he did call him, Andre. Let's back up. Take the window down, Andre. It's parked there. There it is. You see it hiding there? It's right there. We found it, Andre. Yeah, but is it the one we want with the open nose? Hey guys, we are here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains, and what are we doing, Andre? We are going fishing. Okay, it's sort of like fishing, but it's really <laughs> prototype hunting. And what are we fishing for, Andre? Well, we want to find the biggest fish of them all. Which is what? Well, it's not a Ferrari, it's the next generation or updated 2024 Ford F-150. Now, do you think that bringing the Raptor R was the smartest vehicle to go prototype hunting and especially given that it's well orange and very loud well i didn't want i didn't want to bring a knife to a gunfight so i brought a cannon yes you did all right so hopefully in this video we're gonna find the next generation f-150 and you're gonna see it before ford wants you to bigger is better listen if you've been injured in an accident consider going big with morgan and morgan it's so easy they have 100 offices nationwide and over 800 local lawyers to take care of your case. Bigger is more convenient. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. In eight clicks or less on your phone, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. Now that's convenient. Bigger is easier. If you're in an accident, make sure you're okay. Make sure you get a police report. Make sure you contact your insurance company and make sure you get legal representation. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. Eight clicks or less and done. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash TFL or dial pound law. That's pound 529. Listen to this. Oh yes. No, we won't be stealthy, Andre. Stealthy. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here doing prototype hunting and we're trying to get the new 2024 F-150. We want to sneak up on them. But Roman, how are we going to sneak up on somebody in the orange Raptor R? Well, you've got a silent mode there on the exhaust. Okay. You can go to that. Right now we're normal. Quiet. Quiet. That's good. Yeah, now we can sneak up on them. Be very, very quiet. So let's see if they're up here at the top of the pass. This is 12,000 feet above sea level, my and that, friend. And that's why they come here, right? To do high altitude testing. And uh, I am not seeing anything resembling a prototype. Um, okay, there's some tourists. There are. There's a Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah, no bueno, no, huh? Not. Is it Nothing just married yet. over there? Nothing yet. Yeah. Somebody got married. Yeah. Ooh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What's down there? What's down there? Is there something down there that looks promising? There's a semi-truck with weights. No, it's not promising. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, there's a parking lot over here that sometimes they stop at, and then there's one on the right here, too, so we can see, we can check out both of them. Uh, it's the next curve. So... Hold on, now, let me look at this. Oh, it's an Allison truck. You know, Allison is, is getting big. Um, Oh, there's a Chevy test vehicle. Yeah, there's a Chevy there. Yeah. Let, let me so. Allison is doing working on new transmissions. Let me roll on the Chevy and new axles. Oh, it's the tracks that we just tested, Roman. Is it? Yeah. But it's definitely a test vehicle. I'm rolling on it as well. So that's also a, a test vehicle because you can tell it's got Michigan plates and uh, it's got funky exhaust. Yep. But uh, you think this is a test truck? I, it might be. It has an Allison and it has blue weights on it. And there's a driver on a computer on a laptop. That's a good sign that it might be a test vehicle. Look at that. We found a, a Western Star, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Yes. I, I know you guys were expecting a Ford F-150. Uh, it's definitely a diesel. You can hear the clanking. And you see that black box? Oh, he's on, on his steps. Do you see that? He's getting away from us. I'm, I can chase him. You go for it. 
Look, those are just weights on the truck, I think. Yeah, those are weights for payload. Yeah. But that black box on the passenger side, yeah. it's a radar. Because you know how they have, you know, we have blind spot monitors, right? Right. And big trucks want blind spot monitors also. So Andre, th this is just a, a plethora of uh, prototypes up here. So I feel good like we can find the F-150. Um, and there's the other parking spot Yeah, up there's there. a, up I there. don't see anything promising. Uh, no, he's slowing down. Do you see anything promising up there? I don't. I don't, no, but, but uh, this Why did he slow down this much? I don't know. Ooh, he's, he's racing. Well, but, he's but, not really racing. But definitely uh, some kind of a test truck with a lot of weight. I mean, uh -huh. I mean think about how heavy that is. Because it looks like steel plates, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, we're not going to bother him too much. No, because... I, th I think he wanted to get away from us. So we'll... Oh, look. Is that a Gen Y hitch? He's Wait, just... he's got a Gen Y hitch. Oh, he probably watches TFL. <laughs> All right, Andre, let's keep okay. going. Okay. I think that was a good start to our prototype hunting. Okay. But keep your eyes peeled because you never know when there might be other vehicles coming up. You know, Andre, yeah. I, I don't know anything about Western Star um, diesels to, to make something smart or to say something smart about yeah. why they're up here why would you think they're up here well i know a little bit okay right so we've been to western star events yep. and some other um semi-truck big truck manufacturers that was also that also said allison on the side oh really yeah so here's what that obviously allison is a component manufacturer they right a big allison on the side in the, yeah yeah not um, on the truck but on the uh on the trailer, trailer yeah yeah so maybe they are testing a lot of their parts. So Allison, um, they supply transmissions and now they're working on E-axles, okay. so electric axles. The truck we saw there had a diesel clatter to it, right? For sure, yeah. So I, it I wasn't, smelled the diesel, yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't electric. But what they are doing and what some of these manufacturers are doing, they're trying to still to perfect the diesel engine, right? And by perfect, I mean get it more efficient. Yeah, because I mean, a work truck yes. right, like that, it's all about, especially if you spend hours and days and years on the highway, uh, it's all about fuel economy. Yeah, and also, of course, emissions, right? right. Emission regulations are still there. And if they gain three to 5% efficiency or emissions efficiency, that's a big news, right? For sure. Because over your fleet, you could save many, many gallons and many, you know, thousands of dollars of, of money. There, here's another one. This doesn't look like... No, no. this is Transporter. Yeah. It's got a big cab. Yeah, that's definitely a transporter though. That's not a test truck. You can tell that because there's a woman walking a dog over there, Andre. <laughs> Take a look, Ian. See? See, I think that's... <laughs> oh, are they testing the dog? <laughs> no, I think, I think she's giving the dog a walk. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes you find a test truck and sometimes you find a dog relieving itself. <laughs> it's, it's always a little iffy on these. Well, it's uh, like fishing. Yeah, it's like fishing. All right, so we're, we're going, let's say we're going after the big mouth bass, right? Yes. And so far we caught, what, a crappie? <laughs> For all you freshwater fishermen. <laughs> or maybe we're going after a muskie and we caught a big mouth bass, right? Because that's a big truck. I'm just trying yeah. to come up with a proper analogy here. Yeah, I'm not a big fisherman, so okay. I'm not, I'm, maybe halibut? That's an, We're searching for halibut. No, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's not a freshwater fish. Andre. No, I, 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 I've done some big water fishing. No, but no, not no. a lot of. No, like a sunfish. Okay. Right, a but sunfish. not a rainbow trout. Looks like another Allison truck. Yeah. They're, they're that's that's an international. Oh my goodness, he's carrying weights too. Yeah. Holy cow, there's a lot of them up here. <laughs> uh, well, big trucks need testing as well. Yeah, for sure. That's not one. That's a, that's a ranger. Forest service. Yeah, forest yeah. service. Um, all right, let's keep looking. Yeah, and the problem, quite honestly, with, with, with do not disguise, right, you don't know what's under the hood. Yeah, it's not like we could look through the hood, right, right. with our x-ray vision exactly. and see the new diesel engine inside. Yeah, we'd have to ask the engineer what they're testing, and, and they may or may not. You know, us. I've done that before. I came up to a semi-truck driver who was testing something a couple guy, years ago. No, that's an old, no way. Uh, and I said, so can you tell me what you're testing? And I had a camera next to me, and he looked at me, and he's like, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because they're, they're worried about their jobs, too. Sure, yeah. They're testing vehicles that don't want to say something incorrectly or say something that they're not supposed to say. 
All right, so we are approaching another area where sometimes we see prototypes, right? Yes, here at the shopping center where they're <laughs> buying all their prototype garb. <laughs> no, there's a hotel here where sometimes they... Uh, well, they stay. Stay, yeah, yeah and they, they use it as a kind of a central location for sometimes doing repairs and sometimes just having resting. lunch. Yeah, and sometimes just you know, resting. Uh, so let's go see if we got lucky here. So oftentimes we get comments on our prototype hunting videos that the manufacturer has called us, Roman, and they have told us where to rendezvous. Yeah, did and you call Ford? No. <laughs> oh, shoot, no wonder we're having such a hard time. <laughs> I did not, and they did not call me, by the way. <laughs> so this is true. Well, normally... Well, we do get a phone call, but it's not the ones people think we're getting. Not, not the let's coordinate us <laughs> finding the vehicle out there and pretend like we're hunting it. No, it's, it's the other one saying, what the heck did you just publish and why? Yeah, and what did you unveil? Yeah, and what did you, what did you show people that we didn't want people seeing? Uh-oh, I'm being blocked by Allison. Uh-oh, another one. Wow, how many Allison trucks are we going to see? I don't know, look at this. That's another one, yeah. US dot Allison Transmissions. Allison is doing a lot of work. It's another diesel truck with an yeah. exhaust pipe. Yeah, holy cow. Wow, Allison is really testing a lot of vehicles. Well, we here. stumbled onto the den of Allison's. <laughs> oh, Ford, I see it. Back up, Ian, Ian, please back up. Back up before we go in there. It's there, I see it. So he did call him, Andre. Let's back up. Take the window down, Andre. It's parked there. There it is. You see it hiding there? It's right there. We found it, Andre. Yeah, but is it the one we want with an open nose? The nose is not super open, but it's kind of open. Ooh, could it be a Raptor? I don't know. All right, let's let's take a slow drive by. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Let's just drive by, and we'll just be very. Uh, just another. Just another F-150 looking for a parking space. Well, Nothing yeah, to see I here. Mean, I, I wanted to stay here for the night because yeah. I, I really wanted to see what was happening here. Ooh, it has a new headlight design. That's quite interesting. I see beefy tires. I see a new grill. I see new headlights. All right. That is interesting. So <laughs> my heart's pounding, Andre. This. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a Blazer with the Chevy. Sorry. This grill that we just saw, we yeah. haven't seen before. Okay. Um, and I, I would say, we'll from my that, perspective, we'll since there's any more hiding from over. my perspective, I yeah. would say um, that's kind of a mid-grade grill, so like, like a, an XLT, XLT or yeah. Lariat, okay. maybe. Yeah. And it's not the current truck because this is a current truck. See, so for comparison, you could see this one. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on them. And you see, the headlight design was a little bit different, and the grill design was a little bit different on the truck we just saw. Well, he had off-road tires too, so, so could, it could be like an off-road, like an FX4 four or a Tremor, maybe. Or I don't know, it was as big as a Tremor. Yeah, because the tires would have been larger, I think. But you know how Super Duty now has XL off-road, yeah. which is kind of a step between FX4 and Tremor. Uh, maybe they're doing something similar there. It's hard to tell. Wow! Wow! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> 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 you snatched it. <laughs> it was worth it. Yes. Yeah, we, our, our fishing trip was successful, Andre. Sometimes we come up here and we're like, you know, we get skunked. And sometimes oh, we. You want to see here. something funny? What's that? I'll show you. What? That big truck with blue stuff. Yeah. He's here. He's here. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah. He's also here. <laughs> That's a cool looking. Who That's owns, a cool big rig. Who owns Western Star? I think Mercedes, I, I think right? Daimler, Daimler, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, there it is, there it is. Go right, go right, go right. What? Sorry, I just, there's the Ford. Go. I just, I just stop okay, rolling. hold on. Start videoing. I'm, I'm rolling. Did you hear it? No. I did not hear it. I didn't hear it either. I think it's a hybrid. I think it's a hybrid too. Yes. Yeah, I didn't hear it at all. Yes, it's a hybrid. It yeah. was dead quiet. Yeah, I was listening to it. I did not hear it. Oh, wow. We got really lucky there. We got it. And you know, the taillights were different too. It was like a Ford Lightning, F-150 Lightning taillights. <laughs> He's being chased by a Raptor hour. Hey, put it in quiet mode. 
Andre, oh. <laughs> this is not the way. It's, is that the quiet mode? That's not quiet mode. I'm, I'm gonna say he went. I'm gonna say he went right. Let's see if we can see. That it. was a hybrid. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I see. He's in front of us. All right, let's chase him. See if we can listen to him. God, now we got this. There he is, right there. There's the taillights. Let's take a look at the taillights. Yeah, we got the taillights there. They're also different, huh? So the rear bumper looks a little bit more tucked. The tail lights resemble the new Lightning, just a slightly different design. And once again, Michigan plates. Michigan plates, you see a tailpipe, right? There's a tailpipe, yeah. But I don't hear anything. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering, you know, why we can do this, it's we have freedom of the press here. So if he's out in public, if basically he's driving around in public, we can film him, right? So if I can see him and you can see him and everybody around here can see him, we can also see him. Can see, what's on top of the roof there, Andre? Um, it's a little, um, usually they're called pitot tubes. Yeah. It's a way to determine wind speed. So it's a device um, that they use to measure the environment around them. There could also be a thermometer in that little pod. Um, the little white tube I'm talking about. Now we, look at those taillights, they're very, there's a lot going on there. They're very, there's a, yeah, a lot of little... A lot going on, yeah. Little design elements. Yeah. Uh, we got the small window in the back. Oh yeah, this is very stealthy, Andre. He'll, he'll, he'll never suspect we're filming him. Yeah, I, I think we got him, dude. I think we called yeah, him. Yeah, we learned a lot about yeah. it. So, w what powertrains could there be? Obviously, we see they currently have a three and a half liter twin turbo EcoBoost hybrid. That's yep. the truck I used to own. Yep. So, they might be refining the latest generation of that power plant. Or, what if they downsized that engine and made it like to a 2.7 liter? Oh, I think he saw me. Yeah, or she, he, he's, yeah. You think he's, he saw you, Andre? You think, you think we're, we're stealthy in a Raptor R here? in the orange one? Yeah. yeah, I think you saw us for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the wheels look about the same, so nothing there. So it's probably not a tremor. Probably not a tremor, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get him as he makes the right turn here. I'll, I'll capture him. Come on, come on, make the right turn. There he goes. Bye-bye. So, just before this week, they used to have additional camouflage on them but it looks like they have unveiled their, they stripped off the plastic and some of the other components. And it looks like they really unveiled them because I, they need to do air testing, right? The grill has to be open so the radiators can breathe and so they can do proper measurements. So uh, when do you think that these will hit the showrooms? How far, when do you think they'll officially be unveiled? I'm thinking Detroit Auto Show maybe? That's in September, right? Yeah, it's coming. I think it's September. Yeah, they keep, and, they keep moving it. And it could be, and it could be in the fall. It could right? be in the fall. In the fall, yes. So in 2023 is a 2024 model. Yeah, makes sense. And then you it know we just sense. did a video where we um, got a front picture of it. Yeah. And of a different model. Of a different model, right? Yes. And the comment that everybody had in there was same truck, thirty thousand dollars more expensive. Yeah, people are worried. You guys are worried about the additional cost, right, of, of these trucks. I don't blame them. These trucks yeah. have gotten crazy, dude. Well, this is one hundred ten thousand. Well, I know. <laughs> I, I, you know, Andre, it, it is such a such an American thing, right, the pickup truck. Yeah. And to, to price them at this level, I think it just feels, in some ways, very um, very elitist. You know, this, 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 you know, a truck has always been the every man or woman truck, and when, but I get this truck, right? This is a special one. Yeah. yeah, but it's not just. It's not like it's this truck that 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 is the only one that's one hundred and ten thousand. Every truck has gotten crazy expensive. Like heavy duty diesels are one hundred ten thousand. Yeah. Some other trucks are approaching eighty thousand um, dollars. The other comment that people said, if they didn't refresh it every other year, it would stay. It would stay uh, affordable. There is some truth to that, but it's a competitive market, right? If you stay behind, if you don't refresh your truck, you know, Ram is struggling right now, right? They haven't refreshed their yeah. truck. Yeah, I'd be uh, like that 5 much. Chevy, right? <laughs> For three years, Chevy had a different design. Every uh, single completely year. Completely different, yeah, not, not like a little different. Uh, but let's, let's finish speculating 
calculating on this. So you, you think they'll have the Coyote, you think they'll have the 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, I think so. You, you think they'll have a, we were speculating, a 2.7 hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, what am I missing? Well, I mean, they, they have um, the base engine, which is naturally aspirated, non-turbo V6. That might continue as a value leader. I think they'll keep the... Look, right there. There's that uh, Trax yeah, there's a that track. we saw. There it goes, yeah. Um, I think they'll keep the V8 because the pressure is on. GM invested in V8 engines for their trucks. Um, and Hemi still, the Ram Hemi is still there. So I think they have to keep their 5 liter. Um, so I think they'll keep that. I think payload and towing numbers mainly will remain unchanged because there's, they've been pushing the envelope so much already. Th those are my ideas. Yeah, and I hope they don't raise the price. I hope they, I hope right. they keep the price. And by the look of that one, uh, maybe the hybrids will have a bigger battery where you'll get more range. Because it seemed like he was in electric mode a lot yeah. there. Yeah, and I didn't, I, I should have looked, but maybe we, when you watch the video, you can look for like a flap for, uh, you know, an electric uh, plug-in hybrid, which would be interesting. Yeah, I did not notice anything. I, I, I was just in the anything. moment. Yeah. I was yeah. in the moment. It's hard. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, we did get the, what was it, what was the fish analogy, the big mouth? Bass, or you were going for the... The rainbow trout. No, you said it was a tarpon, I think. No, no hal halibut. halibut. We, got, we the got the big halibut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got him. Hey, thanks for joining us, guys. As always, uh, check out alltfl.com if you want to stay up to date on the latest truck news. Uh, and, uh, yeah, successful prototype hunting. I am stoked. Let's go back to Boulder uh, and edit this video. Yes.